What's going on YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another video and we're going to get into it right here right now guys. So Undisputed just released a game update 17th 2023 and I got to tell you man I kind of sped home from work ran through a couple of yellow lights not red lights to get home to see what this update's all about. So we're going to go through it real quick and then the second half of this video, I'm going to get into an actual fight. I'm going to use Lomachenko, and let's see how things uh, pan out here. So here we go. This is the update. It says, hey, fight fans, this update brings four exciting new fighters, a new venue, and some key changes to gameplay, AI, and fighter ratings. As we shared in our most recent roundtable on Undisputed YouTube channel, the next few updates will focus on several key areas of community feedback. Before we get into the full details of the latest release, here are some details on a few areas we are continuing to focus on over the next couple of updates. So the body uppercut spam, they haven't fully fixed it yet but it says players online are able to repeatedly use the body uppercut without much consequence leading to unbalanced fights we are currently testing two solutions internally a change to the body uppercut targeting and a change to body blocking that we hope to ship in the next game update so that's really good because when it becomes like a spam fest you guys know it man it kills the whole authenticity of the experience it kills the whole realism so nobody wants that especially when you're playing some bozo online doing that online stability so they're working on fixing the online stability there and here's the big one brother this is the one that has kind of made me shy away from playing the game online and i've said this before i'm more of an offline guy so i cannot wait for the career mode or even if a story mode but the online cheating has made me kind of take a step back uh, and I've said it before that it, it these guys are just ruining the experience of the game can we not just play the game and enjoy it why do we have to get into the cheating to why would you play a game and cheat I feel like it's just silly but anyway it says we know that running into cheaters online is frustrating and we want to make sure you know that cheaters will never be welcome and undisputed we're working hard to address the issues and we have a plan in place but it's taking longer than we'd like will implement a third party anti cheat to ensure cheaters are properly routed out from online play. This is unfortunately requires us to rework some of our back end systems before we can implement the anti cheat, which means the solution is still multiple updates away. So yeah, a lot of people are cheating and man, don't play rank. That's all I'm going to tell you. So we have some new fighters. Vasily Lomachenko added to the game with his own unique movement, swift footwork, and signature directional punches. Lomachenko joins the featherweight and lightweight divisions. That is awesome. Amir Khan, fast hands. Amir Khan added to the game. Khan joins the lightweight, welterweight, and middleweight divisions. It's so nice how they uh, put these guys in multiple divisions. How about this? The legend Floyd Patterson added to the game and introduces the peekaboo style to Undisputed. Patterson joins the heavyweight division. Daniel Jacobs added to the game. Jacobs joins the middleweight division. There's a new venue. I'm all about aesthetics, man. If the game ain't beautiful, it's going to kill the uh, experience of the game. And the venues make the game kind of immersive. You know what I'm saying? So we also added a brand new venue to the game. Welcome to Kuritsu Arena, a beautiful Japanese-inspired pentagonal-shaped venue. Kuritsu means discipline, so be sure to show off your ring control and boxing mastery when you step between the ropes. Here is where uh, the big boys play here. Gameplay changes. And for me, it's all about the gameplay. I'm sure it is for you as well. We've changed the damage health system from six individual damage zones into one overall head zone and one overall body zone. We hope this alongside the below day's threshold change encourages players to mix up their fight styles, which should lead to a better quality of matches online. So I'm glad they did this because I'll tell you what, if somebody's left or right side, let's just say of their head is kind of dwindling down, they're in the red zone. Your opponent or you will target that area, which will lead to you just kind of throwing that same, the punches on the same side to try to get the knockout or to get the rock. 
And I like how they just went into two zones because it's going to make you want to throw combinations, make you want to set things up instead of kind of spamming the side that's kind of hurt, if you know what I mean. They said, we've changed the damage thresholds used to calculate dazed chance. Fighters are now more likely to hit their opponent into dazed by mixing up punches and landing combinations rather than focusing on the same punch repeatedly. So yeah, you can't just throw, you know, five right hooks and hope to get a rock. You got to be within the flow of the whole boxing science. Throw nice combos and you will get a daze more likely than just spamming the same punch. This does not impact the chance of landing a flash daze. So that, I guess, if you counter nicely and you counter with one good shot, you will still get a flash daze. We've reduced the movement speed of fighters. This is one thing that I was talking about. I doubt they heard my voice, but uh, it says we've reduced the movement speed of fighters that are dazed, making it more achievable for players to be able to cut off the ring and secure a finish when an opponent is hurt. So I've said this before. Um, not like I'm saying I'm a big time fighter, but I used to train boxing and I used to train at Extre Extreme Couture in Toronto. Shout outs to everybody at Extreme Couture. And if you're ever dazed when you are training, you're... A little bit foggy your legs get heavy and your movement definitely slows down as you're trying to kind of manage your heart rate trying to get you know your bearings so I like how they did that because I feel like that becomes more of a realistic experience when somebody's hurt they move a lot slower and then the person that is actually dishing out the damage you've seen it in real fights they have a jolt of adrenaline where they just feel that energy kind of rising they feel like the fight is near and um, they end up getting that kind of like energy boost speed boost and they're able to kind of hurt their opponents or better yet finish the fight so they've added that I i'm really excited about that they've added a warning to the in-fight ui that will show a player if they'll if, if they're close to being dazed and remove the sectional body. Wow. So it's going to warn you if you're close to being dazed, which will make you want to kind of regroup, recover, be defensive. The curve has been reduced across overall stamina, stamina regeneration, which means fighters with higher rated stamina have a less steep advantage. So yeah, most people would Pick guys with high stamina because you know you're going to have stamina for days in the later rounds. So they've kind of flattened that curve out. The difference between somebody with amazing stamina and medium stamina, it's going to level out. The ultimate goal here is to make sure we're seeing punch stats that are more in line with what you'd see in real life, in a real fight. This is a first step and we'll continue to iterate on this area of balance as we follow your feedback. So the one thing you got to say about Steel City Interactive is that they're listening. They are definitely listening to all of you guys and trying the best they can to make the changes. I know some of you may not like the speed of the changes, but it, it takes time, man. So these are all really good gameplay changes. General updates. The post-fight results screen will now also show both fighters' remaining health. This is really cool to see in stamina that they had at the time the fight ended. We hope this is helpful for players to understand and improve the way they're fighting, but also to be able to give us more informed feedback around stamina and damage balancing. This is nice to see because then you could kind of see where your opponent was at the end of the fight. If you were winning or losing, it gives you an idea on what things you were doing well or what things you need to improve or what things need to improve in the game. They've also improved the AI, so overhauled our AI system. The new system should allow us to control and adjust more elements of the AI's gameplay. With this update, players should see that the AI has improved ring movement, punch and stamina movement, and weaving dodging. Players can expect to see continued improvements, including a more noticeable difference between fighter styles, like a slugger versus outboxer. So that's good over time. There's still lots of work to be done on the AI, so we'd love to hear your feedback and requests, and we set up a specific chat to focus on AI feedback in Undisputed Discord server. So I personally want to get in on the Undisputed Discord server a little bit more, just because the AI for me personally is something that I'm banking on when this game is completely done, because I want to enjoy the career mode and have a realistic experience when I'm facing a guy like a Muhammad Ali 
or a Deontay Wilder. You know, I want to experience a different opponent. So hopefully the AI will just be more re realistic when it is considered to match the real life counterparts in the styles of these boxers like Ali, Wilder, etc. So they've, I won't read all of this, but they've made changes to these fighters as well. So this is pretty promising. I have to say that they got to fix Rocky Marciano. Like, come on, Rocky Marciano was one of the deadliest boxers of all time. And in this game, I feel like he's basically unplayable. He's not that lethal puncher, you know, that devastating boxer that you fear. And um, you don't really see people using him much just because he's not as dominant as he as he could be, like in Fight Night Champion. Um, but here are the others. They also fixed some bug fixes. Wow, a long list of bug fixes that have been fixed. But I will leave a link to this and you guys can go check it out on your own. We're going to get into the fight right here, right now. It's going to be one fight. So if I get totally destroyed, you're going to see it. If I win, hopefully you'll see it as well. So I'll see you guys at the fight. Let's go, baby. All right, here we go. The fight. We are facing Ray Dakid. Jorge Linares versus Vasily Lomachenko. And I want to send out a huge shout out to my best friend, Andrew. We call him Andri. He's from Ukraine. And Lomachenko is his favorite boxer. So shout out to my good buddy, Andrew. And uh, let's see how things go, man. This, he's a southpaw. He is a southpaw. We are ready to rock and rumble. And I haven't played this for a while. So... I don't know how things are going to go, man. I don't know how things are going to go. But we'll see what happens. When I do the one and done videos, though, I always say it. That's what makes for entertainment on your end. Because you don't know what's going to happen. And I don't care, man. Win or lose, I do not care, brother. I absolutely do not care. And I took the commentating off. I took the commentating off. So that's why you're not hearing the announcer. Uh, so here we go. We are ready to throw some hands. Oh, our opponent right away playing a little possum. Playing a little possum. Nice. Here we go to that body. Look at this. I like how he's just, <laughs> he's looking for that big bomb. Yeah. Yeah, switch it up. Oh. Keep on moving around. Look at that footwork. <laughs> oh. Missing with that hand right there. Throw that jab. Try the step back. He's trying that step back, but we're in range to kind of get him. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Nice, good job. Just gotta continue kind of moving around, brother. Fire that jab. Nice. Oh, oh, we're both leading back. <laughs> I gotta turn the volume up after this round. I'm gonna get that volume of boost. Oh, that was the longest 10 seconds ever. Let me turn that volume up real quick. I'm going to go way up. I'm going to go way up there. I don't know. That was kind of our round. Kind of say that was our round. Here we go. Round two. Let's go. Yeah. Look at that body, baby. 
I like Lomachenko is like creeping out of. Oh! Oh! What I'm noticing though in the game is still sometimes there's like that animation stutter. Like I'm rocking a uh, 4090, and sometimes when the action gets crazy, you'll see like there's a skip in the animation. I'm going to that body, brother. Huh? Come on. Yeah, a little uppercut. Still got to get more juice on that uppercut, in my opinion. Come on, brother. I don't want this to go 12 rounds. I got kids to feed. <laughs> Keeps on leaning back, which is making me want to continue to go to that body. Oh, throwing the combos. Linares. He's got a head of steel. But I'm noticing the stamina going down, which is good. Yeah, it was a good little round. Good little round. Lomachenko's dancing around. <laughs> okay, off we go to the third. They're both going to the body now. Gotta watch out for that stamina, replenish it. Guy's content with just being on the back heel. Nice. Oh, big shots. Okay, when he leaves, anticipating a counter. Oh, down he goes. Down he goes. Lomachenko. He's waking up. He's like, where am I, brother? Is it Saturday morning? <laughs> down he goes. Yes. Let's go. Let's get into it. Oh, and, and look at that. He's not fully recovered. Okay, you got to be careful. As George St. Pierre would say, uh, nobody's invincible. Gotta throw those long shots. Not used to using a southpaw, but it's fun. Oh, look at that critical. See that critical, um, chime that kind of came up there that graphic so we got to be mindful we got to be mindful we got that round <sighs> but our head health was kind of hurt right there there we go yeah let's try a little loose movement here Uppercut. See if he comes to us. You know he's gonna be trying to get that one back. He's gonna be trying to get that back, baby. Yeah. Nice. He's coming at us now. Watch out for him pulling back like that. Yeah, it's like I'm hitting, hitting the heavy bag in Creed VR. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. Good sequence. Wow. Forcing him to take a step back. Oh. I'm going to go back to traditional style here. Here we go. We're not completely out of the woods yet, man. Wow. Very intense fight. Hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> I feel like we're kind of slowing down a little bit, I'll be honest with you, to the fifth. Kind of feel like we were doing better when we were leading the dance. Since we knocked him down, I feel like he's getting stronger. There we go. He's marching forward. See if I can counter him. There we go. Stamina is starting to scare me a little bit. Oh, I got nothing left. Look at us, we're slowing down big time. I gotta try to pick my spots better. Throw my jab. Pull that uppercut. It's not looking good on the stamina front. We were having so much fun, and now he's boogieing and dancing. What is this guy doing? To the sixth. I feel like that was part of his strategy, get me tired into the later rounds. There we go, good little combo with the two hooks. Firing the jab. There we go. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Come on, brother. Yes. Wow. Gotta watch out for those combos. The combos land. Get a flash daze. And he's backing away, looking to get this fight into deep waters. And I'm trying to end the fight. Wow. 
Wow. Good little round. Now off to the seventh. Oh, he's making a comeback now. Got to be more economical with my punches. Oh, just so tired. I like this, how they kind of tweak the stamina. Got to be more uh, careful with what you throw. Jab a little bit more. Oh, our head is now a little on the red side here. I just wonder how tired is he? Is he as tired as us? with that left hand. Wow. Oh. <laughs> to the eighth we go. Can't believe it. I really like how they've tweaked the stamina though. We are now exhausted. This is how a fight should be later on in the fight. Where you gotta be mindful of what you're throwing, you know? Shot did not stun him. He's shaking the cobwebs. Try to throw a stiff jab. Oh, yeah. Like now we're getting kind of outboxed. To the ninth we go. To the ninth we go. Are you kidding me? Here we go, round nine. Why is this so long? They should make all online fights ten rounds. Let me know if you agree with that. Oh, 
just seems so long now. Stiff jab action. Come on, brother. <laughs> ah. We got nothing left. We absolutely have nothing left. Can't believe this. Throwing pillow punches. To the tent. Wow, we're up barely. Let's see if we could squeak out a victory here. We're trying, trying to move forward. Yeah. Good job for that body. His output is just so good at this stage. Yeah. Even though we're pillow fighting, still scoring. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy. What a grueling battle, man. Holy cow. I'm gonna let him chase us, come on. Try just using using straight punches now. Look at that. Straight punches, stepping straight. Here we go to the eleventh. This is it. But again, yeah, they should just have these fights ten rounds. one of these rounds. Don't tell me you're going to quit this late into the fight. This guy's going to quit this late into the fight. Oh, he's just playing possum. He's got to be so careful with our stamina at this stage. fight if you're still here man thank you so much hopefully you're enjoying this brother just 
trying to touch him. Touch those cheeks. I'm telling you, this is as if this is a pillow, pillow party. This is the ultimate pillow fight. If that made any sense. Okay, to the final round. Here we go. Here it is. This is it. Just trying to touch him. Nice. And not get touched. Yeah, baby. Going right to the bitter end. I can't believe this. Dropped him once. And now it looks like we may be going the distance. Yeah. Now he wants me to go into the corner. Let's go, brother. Come on. This is it. Come on, I want to fight. Oh, I'm trying to go for a big shot. Yeah. There we go. Unbelievable, we're going right to the end. This is it, let's see what it's gonna be. Who's got it? It's us! It wasn't pretty, but we managed to get the victory. I'll end off this video. Let me know your thoughts on the update. Let me know your thoughts on this fight. And let me know if you wanna see more Undisputed. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on that one. But there you go, it was so close, but we paid off Juan Garcia, the third judge. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace and love.